Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's wet here in Chicago, and I think the market's concerned that um, not a lot of harvest activity has been done in the last week. I think there's been more rain and cold weather around the Midwest than what people thought maybe a week ago. Uh, the extended outlook calls for a drier pattern uh, after these rain events, so I think that's needed to get the harvest done. Yesterday was all about rumors. Um, we first had a rumor floating around that uh, China's grain buying company, Kafko, uh, may be looking to buy U.S. corn. Uh, that rallied uh, the corn basis at the Gulf. It had the Deece March corn spread narrow a little bit, and it also prompted a rally, late rally in the corn futures. No confirmation yet, but it was nice to see that all three reacted to the news. Uh, some people think that some of the reaction or some of the comparison or, or some of the um, between those markets have been lost. And so it was great to see uh, them react to whether the news is true or not. Um, the second thing we saw uh, came from uh, various sources that Argentina has pulled their bids for exports. Um, the new president, uh, Peronis, uh, may put export taxes on uh, to try to help their economy. And so uh, we'll just kind of see how that impacts their price that they offer exports and the farmer uh, selling. The farmer's been a pretty active seller uh, after the election down there to try to get money before their currency um, changes. The other thing was um, um, there was also talk that uh, there may not be the actual document ready for signing of the U.S. and China phase one trade deal on November 17th. It doesn't mean they don't have a deal, but it just means they may not have uh, the paperwork to sign when the two presidents meet in Chile. The other issue kind of popping up is that the President of the United States is continuing to be firm that they need to buy $50 billion worth of U.S. ag goods. Uh, the Chinese, number one, want U.S. tariffs to be reduced, uh, but number two, they, they don't really want to be held to a certain uh, shopping list. A lot of people think they need red meat. A lot of people think they need soybeans, but not sure of what else they would take to make up for that $50 billion. We're also not sure of when the deal starts. Does it start in 2022, and does the $50 billion uh, over, is it over two years instead of one year? So there's a lot of things uncertain as far as a deal is concerned. I think that's why Overnight, you got bean prices up a penny, corn unchanged, and wheat's down anywhere from two to three cents. So, still traders are kind of staying on the sideline trying to figure out, number one, how big is the U.S. crop, and what will the USDA say on November 8th? What is the latest on any trade uh, deals with U.S. and China? And then finally, um, how does the South American situation affect prices? Right now, weather in South America looks pretty favorable. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.